hi everyone welcome to another video in this video we are gonna talk about what is OPC why we need to know about OPC and is this really important in industrial environment to learn about OPC all this training course where you will learn about industrial protocols is coming up in this video I will consider you you don't know anything about control system you don't know anything about PLCs you have no idea about industrial networks and you are interested to know what is OPC in that situation I have to talk on layman terms so that you can easily pick up technical definition will come up later so let's start so before gonna go into the detail about OPC let's take a scenario where we are having one person that is trying to talk to another person so English person if he's trying to talk to Arabic boy and English person don't know Arabic and Arabic person don't know English is there any other way that they can talk to each other and understand each other yes there is one way out if they want to talk to each other one way is to learn a common language like for example Arabic guy and English guy they want to talk to each other they can know one common language and they can they, then they can talk to each other otherwise they have to do one thing they have to hire another translator so same is the case in industrial environment we have uh, multiple vendors like Mitsubishi, Siemens, Allen Bradley and other different ABB different vendors they have their own protocols every brand have its own protocol earlier for OPC to come in the picture there was an issue that's going on like if one PLC one brand want to talk to another one it was very very difficult and that's why all the organizations sit together and they decided to have something in common so that they can easily talk to each other that's the time when OPC come into the picture itself so what is the purpose of the OPC now every vendor like Siemens, Allen Bradley, ABB, Honeywell, Rockwell all these companies they have capability to talk to OPC OPC is one common thing into the all vendors at the moment so if one want to talk to another it's very easy through OPC the whole purpose of OPC is it get the data from the hardware itself and through the Windows OLE based system it is gonna make it easy for any other vendors to get the data from that OPC so OPC is just nothing it's just one software that's installed on Windows machine and the idea of that software is it's connected to your PLC and the PLC is connected to your hardware so like field instruments all the data from the field instrument is coming to the PLC and now if that PLC have an option to talk to the OPC an S7300 PLC by the way can talk to OPC and now if any other application wanna get connected any other wonder any other software wanna communicate to that particular PLC it can get connected to it through OPC so OPC is a one software that's installed on Windows machine and the idea of that software is is make the communication very easy it's a layman explanation about OPC OPC is a huge topic guys we will talk about in detail about what is OPC TA and what is the technical definition of OPC, what is OLE, what is OPC TA, what is OPC UA and how it all works. How we can convert Modbus data into the OPC and OPC data back to the Modbus. How protocol conversions works what is OPC is technical definition that's all coming up in next session if you are really interested to know technical definition of OPC all you have to do is subscribe this channel turn on your notification so that you don't miss any further videos from IT and Automation Academy I hope you like today's layman explanation of OPC that's all for today till next video Take care.
Allah Hafiz.